Egypt is one truly amazing country, and as we all know, it's one of the oldest civilizations in the world. While everyone else was figuring out how to keep wild animals out of their cave, the Egyptians were already building the pyramids. Something mysterious took place in this land long ago, and we're still trying to figure out what. From the mummy who was probably a great talker, to the mummy who's truly bling bling, here's 20 amazing discoveries in Egypt that scare scientists. <sighs> Number 20. Archaeologists in Egypt discover mummy with gold tongue. A mummy with a gold tongue was recently unearthed. This mummy is an incredible 2,000 years old and was buried at a place in Egypt called Taposiris Magna. The golden tongue might have been put in the mummy's mouth to make sure that the dead person could talk in the afterlife. Egyptians believed that if the golden-tongued mummy met Osiris, the god of the underworld and the afterlife, they'd have had a chance to be able to chat about god things. Life and death, I guess. Actually, mainly death. No one knows for sure if the mummy had trouble speaking when they were alive, though that's also a theory. There's no clear reason why the tongue was made of gold and not something else. Or hey, maybe this is just what happens when you kiss the pharaoh's butt too many times. Archaeologists from the Dominican Republic, led by Kathleen Martinez, found the mummy in one of 16 graves at Taposiris Magna. This site has temples for Osiris and Isis, a goddess who is both his wife and sister. Archaeologists don't know exactly when this person died, but they do know that that they lived when Egypt was either ruled by the Ptolemies, who were descendants of one of Alexander the Great's generals, or by the Roman Empire, which took over the country after Cleopatra VII died in 30 BC. Before we go on, like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. There are some wild theories circulating on the internet that the ancient Egyptian god Anubis was actually a living animal and its remains have now been found. If so, then this is one special dog, and it's fair to say that scientists' terrifying new discovery in Egypt changes everything. Well, not so much dog as humanoid dog god, that is. And if this is the case, then this scary god might be able to come back to life and go on an almighty rampage when he hears about all the grave robbing that's been done to his country. So scientists have locked this one away for now until someone is brave enough to study it. Do you think the Egyptian gods once really existed? What animal would you worship if you could? Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Mummy of ancient Egyptian teenager buried in fine jewelry discovered in Luxor. Here we have the mummy of a teenage girl from a long, long time ago. She's no ordinary teen though, as she's wearing beautiful jewelry, including a beaded necklace and copper earrings. Living during the 17th dynasty, the girl was only 15 or 16 years old when she died. A team of Spanish and Egyptian archaeologists found her mummified remains and a pair of her leather shoes while digging in an open courtyard near the tomb of General Jehudi. Jehudi served under King Thutmose III, who was Hatshepsut's son and nephew during the 18th dynasty. Maybe this is sort of like being a fashion and jewelry influencer on TikTok back in ancient Egypt. Even though the mummy had decomposed over the years, her jewelry was able to be brought back to perfect condition. This includes two spiral earrings and one ear that were covered with a thin metal leaf, possibly made of copper. She also wore two rings and four necklaces. Some serious bling bling. Number 18. Screaming Mummy Mystery. This is frankly very scary. It's a mummified Egyptian woman whose mouth is stuck open for eternity in a silent scream. But we just found out that she may have in fact died of a heart attack. The mummy CT scan showed that it had a lot of atherosclerosis, which is a fatty plaque that builds up in blood vessels. Egyptologists say that the woman likely had a heart attack on her own and was not found for several hours, so rigor mortis already set in by the time she was found. Before she died, her jaw may have been open, but it was locked open for good. However, some experts said that since the mouth tends to open on its own in death, it's much more likely that the wrappings around the jaw were just not tight enough to keep the mouth shut. The mummy was found back in 1881. She was buried at a group of tombs called Deir el Bahari, which is on the other side of the Nile from Luxor. Even though the name Maritamun was written on her wrappings, Egyptologists don't know who she was. Maritamun was the name of several ancient Egyptian princesses, including 
including the daughter of Ramses II, also known as Ramses the Great, who became pharaoh in 1279 BC, and Sequinare Ta II, the 17th dynasty monarch of Thebes, who ruled around 1558 BC. Number 17. Tomb KV-5 while the treasures of Tutankhamun are remembered as Egypt's most important find, the tombs of at least 52 of Ramses II's sons were also found in the Valley of the Kings in 1995. And some believe that this is just as important a find as King Tut. Damn, 52 sons! That guy Ramses was some ladies' man. Did he ever get any sleep? Tutankhamun's tomb is only 70 meters away from the tomb KV-5. Since more than 100 years ago, people have known it existed, but no one knew exactly where it was. The first person to try and find it was James Burton. In the early 1830s, he began an unsuccessful dig in the area. Howard Carter was another who looked for the amazing treasure. Finally, Kent Weeks of the American University in Cairo and the Theban Mapping Project led an expedition in 1985 and 86 that used ground-penetrating radar and sonar to find the tomb. The first dig started in 1987, and Weeks made the astounding announcement to the world on May 18, 1995, after many years of hard work. The tomb is made in a very special way. It looks like tombs from the end of the 18th dynasty, which is probably when KV-5 was built. No one knows who commissioned the tomb, but it's considered exceptionally beautiful. One idea is that it was Amenhotep III, but this can't be proven. I would love to see KV-5, the tomb of Ramses II's sons, dug up all the way to see how far it goes. We've barely scratched the surface of this ancient mystery. Number 16. Rare Pink Statue of King Ramses Ramses II had a reputation for being a tough and strong leader. And we just learned he definitely was a potent lover with 50 plus kids. And now you're about to learn that he also sometimes likes to wear a little pink. At least, he didn't mind when it was depicted as a statue. More importantly, the symbol Ka was found on the almost 3.5 foot tall pink granite statue. The people of that time thought that Ka was a part of the soul or spirit. Amazingly, it was dug up on the land of a man who had been arrested earlier in the month for digging without permission. The rare statue was made so that the person's ka, meaning soul or life force spirit, would have a place to rest after they died. Before, the only similar thing that's ever been found was a wooden statue of Ramses II with the ka symbol on it. The find is thought to be one of the rarest archaeological finds. It's the first ka statue ever to be found made of granite. And it's also the cutest one, isn't it? Number 15. Researchers discover ancient Egyptian mummy was pregnant. When scientists looked over this ancient Egyptian mummy, they thought they were investigating the body of a male priest. Instead, they were shocked to find that the body belonged to a woman who was seven months pregnant when she died. X-rays and computer tests finally showed that the mummy included a fetus with tiny hands and feet. It's the first and only known case of a pregnant woman who was mummified. The mummy's from the first century BC and is thought to have come from royal tombs in Upper Egypt's Thebes region. It made its way to Warsaw for the first time back in 1826. The coffin had writing on it that said the person inside was a priest named Horde de Judy. But because of grave robberies over the millennia, mummies don't always match their coffins, so it could be misleading. Researchers think the woman died between the ages of 20 and 30. Based on the size of the baby, it looks like it was between 26 and 28 weeks pregnant. No one knows what caused the mother's death. The woman was carefully preserved as a mummy. She was wrapped in fabrics and buried with a lot of amulets, which suggests she was from a high social class. She was also buried with other things, but researchers say that some of those things were stolen from the tomb in the 1800s. Because the embalming was so good, it could have been done a long time before the first century BC, because techniques declined in quality over time. Number 14. 100 Ancient Wooden Coffins There are 13 pyramids in Saqqara. One of them, the Djoser, is thought to be the oldest stone building of its size in the world. In the last few years, a number of interesting things have been found there, including over a hundred sarcophagi. In this case, the coffins were taken out of the 12 meter deep grave shafts. It's the most important thing they found in 2020, but the team haven't stopped there. When one grave shaft is found, it often leads to another, and the dig team is still ongoing with many more treasures expected. Saqqara hasn't even told 1% of its secrets yet. Everywhere in this area, archaeologists find tombs and burial shafts, making this one of the creepiest places ever too. Some of the recently found colored and sealed coffins were put on display in a makeshift tent that looked out over the steppe pyramid of Djoser in the huge necropolis. 
Some of the mummies in the gilded and wooden sarcophagi were priests and high-ranking officials from the late and Ptolemyak pyramids, which was more than 2,500 years ago. Experts said that the different colors and shapes of the sarcophagi were due to the wealth of the people who owned them. Some people could afford gilded coffins, while others could only afford wooden ones. Guess not too much has changed when you think about it. Number 13. Egypt Roman Era Mummy Found in Egyptian Oasis in 2010, archaeologists digging in the Baharia Oasis in Egypt, which is about 185 miles southwest of Cairo, found 14 Greco-Roman tombs from the 3rd century BC. In one of them, they found a gypsum sarcophagus in the shape of a woman dressed in Roman clothes. It was carved with a lot of detail. The way she was buried makes it likely that she lived during the Roman Empire, which began in 31 BC and lasted for a few hundred years after that, ruling over Egypt for a period of time. Because the sarcophagus is only 38 inches long, archaeologists didn't know at first if it was a woman or a girl. The decorations and features, on the other hand, point to an adult, so it's likely that she was small but an adult woman. There's no writing that says who she was, but based on the quality of the sarcophagus and other items found in the tomb, it's clear she was wealthy and important. So she may have been small, but she was also powerful. Number 12. Lion Cubs and Crocodiles Among Animal Mummy Finds in Egypt Here's a seriously scary thing that was found in 2019. 75 boxes of wooden and bronze cat statues and 25 boxes of mummified cats. The boxes were decorated with hieroglyphics. The find is from the 7th century BC and is so big that it could fill an entire museum. And that's a lot of dead cats! The five mummified big cats were the most interesting things they found. Two of these mummies were found to be lion cubs after a CT scan. Cats, which were kept as pets and worshipped in ancient Egypt, were often mummified. Lions, on the other hand, were rarely mummified. Other interesting things were a large scarab beetle made of stone that was hidden inside a wooden box, two small scarabs made of wood and sandstone, and three statues of crocodiles, with the remains of small mummified crocodiles inside. Kind of like old school nesting dolls, but crocodiles. A lot of statues of ancient Egyptian gods were also found. For example, 73 bronze statuettes of the god Osiris were in there, in case 72 of them got lost on their way to the afterlife. After many years of unstable politics and Islam terrorism, Egypt wants to bring tourists back to see its ancient mysteries by revealing more and more finds like this. And what could be more appealing than boxes of mummified cats that have been dead for 3,000 years? I say that sarcastically, but, but seriously. Number 11. Mummified babies found in Tutankhamun's tomb. Tutankhamun's daughters are designated as mummies 317A and 317B. Their mother was probably his great royal wife, Anka Senamun, who's been tentatively identified as mummy KV21A. Howard Carter found their tomb in 1922 within the tomb of their mighty father. Together with Anka Sempaten Tashrit and Meritaten Tashrit, these princesses may have been the last generation of the 8th dynasty whose lineage disappeared right after King Tut. The mummies were found in a small wooden box in the northeastern corner of the treasury room. Unfortunately, in ancient times, thieves removed the lids of their sarcophagi, so we'll never know the exact designs that were on them. 317B had to have chunks taken out of the coffin's base to fit her in the sarcophagus, maybe due to some kind of mismeasurement of the body. The outside of the coffin was then covered in black resin and had gold bands that said the Osiris on it. The inside of the coffin was covered in gold foil, and finally the outer coffins were sealed with jackal dung seals and linen bands. Bet you didn't know jackal dung was such a great sealant, and very eco-responsible of them. Number 10. Model aircraft found in Egyptian tomb. In room 22 of the Egyptian Museum in Cairo, Egypt, there's something made of wood that looks a lot like a modern plane or glider. In fact, it looks so much like it that some people have used it as proof that the ancient Egyptians knew how to fly. But that sounds kind of crazy, doesn't it? The Wright brothers came up with the idea of flight in the 20th century. But maybe aliens told the Egyptians about flight, and then we just plain forgot about all it. The body is made up of the same kind of wood as the wings, and it has a smooth aerofoil shape. Its nose is in the form of a pyramid, and one eye is painted on the right side of it. In 1969, Egyptologist Khalil Masiya was going through a box of old artifacts in the basement of the Cairo Museum when he found what looked like a model airplane from 2,200 years ago. 
It had wings, landing gear, and a body that was made to be aerodynamic. In 1898, the thing was first found in a tomb near Saqqara that was erected some 2,000 years ago. But back then, no one paid much attention because they didn't know much more about airplanes in 1898 than the ancient Egyptians did. However, 71 years later, Messia couldn't believe it. What would an exact replica of an airplane be doing in a tomb so old? He came to the conclusion that the ancients must have had technology that had been forgotten for a long time. The Culture Ministry of Egypt agreed. A committee that looked further into the matter found that the 7-inch long model, which was made of light sycamore wood and weighed only 1.1 ounces, seemed to use aircraft design principles that took modern engineers decades of trial and error to find out and perfect. They also found that the glider worked. Even though it was built more than 2,000 years ago, it still flew through the air with just a flick of the wrist. Number 9. The Dendra Light Bulbs the temple of the Egyptian goddess Hathor at Dendra is one of the best preserved ancient Egyptian temples. On one of its walls, there may just be a drawing of a light bulb. And it's getting crazy for me too, don't worry. The so-called Dendra light is shown in three stone reliefs in the temple. At first glance, it looks like a crooks-shaped bulb with a lotus socket at one end, a so-called cable running below it, and a snake-shaped cord filament inside. In the most well-known picture of the so-called Dendra light, a priest holds up the lamp and a few more figures can be seen below it. One of the characters seems to be pointing up at the light bulb. The bulb is also accompanied by a jed pillar with two arms that look like they're connected to the snake or cord inside. In front of the lamp, a picture shows a baboon with two knives. Lastly, it's important to remember that even though researchers have dug up thousands of ancient sites in Egypt, they haven't found any clear electrical objects, let alone light bulbs. There's no proof that the ancient Egyptians used electricity to light their homes, but that discovery could be around the corner. Number 8. 83 6,000 year old graves found. In 2020, 83 strange ancient Egyptian graves were found, which was a major find. And archaeologists were surprised by the graves because the bodies were not in sarcophagi. Instead, they were in clay coffins. Most of the graves were from the time of Lower Egypt, which was from the first half of 4000 BC to 3000 BC. During excavations in the Dakalia Governorate of Northern Egypt, archaeologists found the human bones. There were more graves from between 3200 BC and 3000 BC. This period of time was known as the Nakata III period. Experts have said that the clay coffins are unusual because people were usually buried in mud brick tombs or wooden coffins during that time. People who couldn't pay for a normal burial were put in shallow graves. Even in Egyptian terms, the culture of Nakata III is very old. It was made before the pharaohs took power in Egypt. Rare things like oyster shells, handmade pottery, and two bowls of coal were found in the Nakata III graves, as well as many artifacts devoted to their gods. They believed in more than 2,000 gods, which is even more than the number of Marvel superhero movies out right now. Number 7. Egypt unveils 3,000-year-old female mummy. The body of a woman who lived 3,000 years ago was in this amazing sarcophagus. When you think about it, that's pretty crazy, all that time underground. Now we can see pictures of it being opened in 2018 by a French team. It was one of two ancient coffins found by the French-led team near El Assasef, Egypt, which is close to the famous Valley of the Kings archaeological site. Both sarcophagi had mummies inside, and Egyptian officials had already opened and looked inside the first one. The second well-preserved mummy was found in a tomb with five colored masks and about a thousand statues. Over the course of the next five months, workers cleared away about 300 meters of rubble to get to the tomb, which had colorful paintings on the ceiling. Egypt's Old Kingdom pharaohs chose to be buried in the pyramids of Giza and the Nile Delta. But the pharaohs of the New Kingdom, who wanted to be closer to their dynastic roots in the south, built their tombs in the hills of this dry land west of the Nile. Tombs were also well stocked with enough food and drinks, such as wine and beer, for a royal feast in the afterlife. Sacred objects meant to help the dead live forever, as well as favorite companions that were also placed in tombs. It sounds kind of fun in the Egyptian afterlife. Anyone have Osiris's contact details? I'm down to party. Number 6. Scientists have just discovered two secret rooms hidden inside the Great Pyramid of Giza. 
Scientists have been using the tools of modern particle physics to look inside the Great Pyramid of Giza. They say they found a huge secret room inside the ancient walls. It's above the Grand Gallery, which is a tall, cathedral-like room, and this new space is about the same size. What makes this an important part of this royal tomb, which was built around 2500 BC, and is one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. No one knew about this space until now, even though it's been studied for hundreds of years. This could be a secret room with the king's body, or grave goods that we didn't know about at all. All we do know is that we have a hole or cavity, and it's a big one, which means it might have been made on purpose and should be looked into further. The people who made the discovery say it's the first important structure to be found inside the Great Pyramid since the 1800s. What do you think is in there? Let us know in the comments down below. Number 5. Helicopter Hieroglyphs More crazy Egyptian tech again. Some people say that the hieroglyphs at the Temple of Seti show a helicopter, a submarine, and a zeppelin. But most of these theories are based on fake archaeology, and the pictures that are often used as evidence have been doctored in some way. Archaeologists found these new hieroglyphs in Seti's tomb when a piece of plaster fell off a wall and showed the pictures. And now the guy from Ancient Aliens is freaking out, of course. Also, what about that thing on the left that looks like a huge alien bug? I'd be worried about that, so let's hope they don't come for a second visit to Earth anytime soon. Number 4. The Mystery of Queen Nefertiti she was the mysterious wife of a pharaoh, but when he died, she might have ruled on her own as a man. If researchers find her tomb, what's inside could change the history of the Middle East. When something new is found in Egypt's Valley of the Kings, people start to talk. Is she there? Has she been found at last? They're asking about Nefertiti, the mythical beauty who is married to one of the strangest pharaohs in ancient Egypt. Her grave has never been found and Egyptologists are still trying to figure out where it is. Scans of King Tut's tomb show that there may be hidden rooms behind parts of the walls. This has made Buzz even louder than before. Questions have come up about possible connections to Nefertiti and whether archaeologists will look behind the walls and find room after room full of the dazzling grave goods of the long-lost queen. Tut didn't become king right away after her husband, Ankaten, died. Someone else, a mysterious person named Semikare, seems to have been in charge for around two years. Was this the famous queen who ruled but posed as a man? Number 3. Valley of the Golden Mummies the Valley of the Golden Mummies is a large Greco-Roman cemetery in Egypt's Baharia Oasis. It's in the Western Desert. In 1996, an Egyptian team found around 250 mummies that were about 2,000 years old, and further digs kept going on. In the end, they figured out that there were almost 10,000 mummies in all. Many of the mummies were still in good shape, so this was an incredible find. And they had been decorated in many different ways. But there were four different kinds of mummies at Baharia. The first type was found on about 60 mummies and is the most impressive. It had a gold mask over the face and a gilded waistcoat with different scenes of gods and goddesses on the chest. Each mummy was also buried with some kind of object. Some of these things are jewelry bracelets, food trays, wine jars, and Ptolemaic coins. Mummies found in Roman graves at the Baharia Oasis show that the people who lived there at the time were wealthy, and this is reflected in their luxurious death masks. Number 2. Mysteries of the Egyptian Book of the Dead The Egyptians used the Book of the Dead as a guide to the afterlife, kind of like a trip advisor for the afterlife, and you absolutely must go on the thrilling boat ride. No, really, you actually like had no choice. For hundreds of years, Egyptian royalty kept secret the sacred rituals that ensured the favor of the gods after death. But as time went on, everyone in Egypt, rich and poor, learned about these secrets. No one knows how or when the Book of the Dead was first put together. The sarcophagus of the 13th dynasty queen Mentuhotep has the first known example. Between the Middle and New Kingdoms, only kings and queens could use the Book of the Dead. But eventually, anyone with enough money to make or buy a copy of the text could improve their chances of having an easy time in the afterlife. Number 1. 3,000 year old wooden toe shows early artistry of prosthetics. Almost 20 years ago, archaeologists working in a burial chamber in the Sheikh Abd el Gurna necropolis west of Luxor, Egypt, found something unexpected. The remains of a woman thought to be the daughter of a high-ranking ancient Egyptian priest were found with a prosthetic big toe that was beautifully made. 3D scans of the toe showed what materials were used to make the prosthesis and how it was made. The most interesting thing they found, though, was that the toe had to be reshaped more than once to fit the woman's foot. 
The toe shows that the person who made it was skilled and knew a lot about the details of the human body. The technical know-how is especially clear in the way the prosthetic extension can be moved and the way the belt strap is made. The fact that the prosthesis was made in such a time-consuming and careful way shows that the owner cared about how it looked and how comfortable it was to wear, and that she could count on highly trained professionals to give her what she wanted. And what a cool party trick it would have been to show that thing off. What other crazy mysteries could be uncovered in this awesome land? Do you think that the Egyptians were in contact with aliens? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!